What's going on YouTube? Hopefully all of you guys are doing absolutely amazing today. I hope everyone's crushing their goals, making tons of money online. Um, but I wanted to go over a topic today. I've been getting tons of comments, DMs on Instagram, Facebook, comments on my YouTube uh, videos saying, you know, Garrett, I've been going out scanning stuff. I can't find anything to sell. This is bull crap. Uh, most of the items are a dollar or two bef uh, below what they're selling for on Amazon. And there are honestly a lot of different reasons why you guys might not be finding products. So I'm here to go over those possibilities and just kind of break down exactly maybe why you're not finding products. Number one reason I see most people aren't finding products is you guys aren't scanning enough stuff, right? You guys aren't going to the amount of stores you need to go to. Oftentimes, um, retail arbitrage is painted out like, oh, it's so easy. You can walk into Walmart, just scan a few items, make some money. It's not like that, guys. If you want to scale a retail arbitrage business, um, you need to be hitting, you know, eight, 10 stores in a day, back to back to back, finding products. Some stores I go to, I'll find maybe one or two things. Another store, I'll find 20 or 30. It just really depends. But in order to scale a retail arbitrage business and consistently make those sales and find those products, you have to be going to a lot of stores right now since it's Q4. I don't usually do retail arbitrage until I started a little challenge a few months ago and I got back into it a little bit because my main business is private label. But now that I see that, okay, I'm missing out on a lot of easy money, with retail arbitrage um, this quarter four I'm going out to 10 stores a day five days a week that's 50 stores a week I'm hitting right and maybe your area doesn't have that much store so you might have to choose a different business model than retail arbitrage right you might have to um, do private label which I recommend everyone do guys private label is the easiest business model to get into regardless of what anyone tells you but we're talking about retail arbitrage right now so I don't want to get off track but guys if you're not finding stuff odds are you're probably just going to Walmart and Target Walmart and Target sucks for retail arbitrage I'm just gonna be honest with you my experience Target and Walmart are the worst stores to source from my top stores that I'm sourcing from are Ross Marshall's TJ Maxx, Burlington Coat Factory in the outlets, like the Nike outlet, the Adidas outlet, the Converse outlet, the Vans outlet store, stores like that, guys. I'm not finding anything really at Walmart or Target on a consistent basis. Maybe, maybe sometimes I'll go to Target and Walmart and find a few things, but other than that, guys, Walmart and Target are kind of dead in my opinion. The, their clearance prices suck now, at least in my area, um, and the prices tank super quickly. Um, so if you guys want to do retail arbitrage, I recommend Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Burlington Coat Factory, and the outlet malls, guys. You're going to find stuff if you go and scan, okay? And some of you guys just go, go in and you might scan the electronic section and not find anything. When I'm going into a store, like let's say Ross, I head to the men's clothing. I scan through all the sportswear, all the shirts, all the pants, all the shorts, everything. I scan almost every single item, and then I make my way over to the socks. I scan all the socks. I scan all the underwear. I scan all the sports accessories like headbands, hats, all that stuff. I make my way to the back of the store where the toys are at. I scan through all the toys, and that's my rotation of going through a Ross, okay? And the next Ross I hit, I do the same thing. I'm spending about an hour to an hour and a half in a store scanning all the items to find 10, 15, 20 items, right? Some of you guys are just going into a store for 15 minutes scanning and you don't find anything so you're like screw this it's not working it's not it's not true so you guys just possibly aren't scanning enough and I'm not saying that for most of you but most of the people think this is just the easiest way to make money when it's really not you have to know what you're doing um, you have to scan a ton of stuff um, just to find a small amount of stuff so these people who are sourcing hundreds of items every day they're scanning thousands of items okay they're not just going into a store scanning 500 items and pulling 60 of them okay it doesn't work like that sorry to break the truth as you guys know I try to be as transparent as possible with you guys um, about selling on Amazon because the picture often gets painted that it's just a super easy business to make boatloads of money it's not it's a real business you have to put in real work real hours I guess not so much with like private label you find a product once you source it get it up and running you just reorder and that's that but with like retail arbitrage online arbitrage even wholesale guys it's a work heavy business you're gonna be doing a lot of labor okay it's not just you just automate things and it starts running like with private label it's pretty much you can automate it to where you're not working as much as you will with a wholesale model or an online arbitrage or a retail arbitrage model okay so that's the one reason you guys aren't probably finding anything number two 
if you're just beginning guys you aren't going to be able to sell a lot of stuff so that's why I recommend getting into books books are everywhere okay if you get if you can't find books then you're obviously just not scanning you're not working hard and you're not just going out enough okay books are the easiest thing to start selling if you only have a hundred two hundred bucks guys okay um, I don't even recommend doing retail arbitrage with a hundred or two hundred bucks okay you're just not gonna make you're not gonna be able to flip the money fast enough okay so that's the second reason first reason being you're just not working hard enough you're not scanning enough stuff too um, you're new and you just can't sell certain products and that's okay that's where everyone has to start out okay um, all these people you see making a hundred thousand sales a month two hundred thousand sales a month doing you know some form of arbitrage or something they started somewhere they started from the bottom you have to work your way up for six seven eight nine months that's just how this business works um, if you're complaining about not being able to sell certain brands start private label and create your own brands that's the solution to it that's pretty much I'm just getting tired of hearing uh, people just making excuses that there's this isn't real I can't find products to sell Garrett oh I can't sell Nike why are you showing yourself selling Nike guys the concepts the same you go out you scan stuff you find stuff you can make a profit on it's not my fault that I've put in the groundwork to be able to sell these bigger brands okay I worked my butt off working my way up um, getting approved for these brands and able to sell them okay so that's what you all should be aiming for okay so first reason you might not be finding stuff is you're just not putting in the work too um, is obviously if you're going to want to do retail arbitrage like the traditional retail arbitrage you're not going to find a lot of stuff because you're not ungated in these bigger brands okay so if you're just doing any form of arbitrage I'd recommend just starting at the thrift stores book sales and doing mostly books guys you're going to sell through a lot of books and you're going to end up getting approved to sell um, the bigger name brand products so you can move into the bigger na names like Nike Adidas all these other um, brands third reason I see um, another reason I see is people get a false reality because you'll see some some videos of some people saying this is how I turn two hundred dollars into twelve hundred dollars with retail arbitrage guys that is not gonna happen on that's once in a blue moon will you'll find a boatload of a product for super cheap and you can have an ROI like that retail arbitrage guys when I'm going out I'll buy something at a hundred percent return on investment and before it gets in everything price usually tanks uh, a little bit and I'll end up making about a 70 percent ROI that's the average right now for me so if I go out and spend ten thousand on retail arbitrage I can expect a sixty five hundred to seven thousand dollar profit okay so it's not just this easy thing where you can go out and spend four hundred bucks and make fifteen hundred okay sorry to tell you it just doesn't work like that okay so um, unrealistic expectations uh, and it just basically discourages people and kind of sways them away from what they see online um, I'm here to break the truth to you guys okay um, so those are three reasons right there sorry I'm not that good at spelling never have been and probably never will be okay the fourth th thing is you might not be finding proxies people who are very experienced with retail arbitrage have a lot of connections with the store managers guys I have connections with certain Marshalls managers certain Ross managers um, I have connections at the Nike outlet that's why I have all these friends and family cards for this weekend okay um, even at the Converse outlet for example um, you know how the Converse outlet or a lot of outlet stores rip the box tops off so you can't sell them on Amazon. A lot of the store managers I know in my area will give me a call. Hey Garrett, we just got a shipment in. Come through. I'll let you in the back. Scan what you want um, and get it before we rip the box tops off. That's amazing for me because if they rip those box tops off, I can't sell them no longer. So just making those connections, treating the managers well, um, having a good friendly conversation with them can help you out with finding an abundance of product with really no competition and you really get first dibs, guys. Um, but yeah, guys, um, just making relationships um, get out there and just scan. This is retail arbitrage, guys. You're not going to be able to put in five, ten hours a week and make ten grand a month with retail arbitrage. It's just not realistic. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, if you don't believe me, give me one second. I'm going to go, I'll, I'll buy tons of stuff, right? As you guys know, with retail arbitrage, you should be keeping your receipts, okay? So here's a shoe box I have full of receipts, guys. So if you guys say there's not stuff to find, here's the proof. All these are receipts from retail arbitrage. More retail arbitrage. More retail arbitrage. These are all receipts I get from retail arbitrage. I mean, 
you can't tell me there's not stuff to find. I mean, I have receipts. I have more and more receipts. I mean, it's ridiculous that people are saying you can't find stuff. The reason you can't find stuff is because you're just not putting in the work. Um, and maybe if you don't want to put in a whole ton of work and really have a full-time business where you're working in it full-time 40, 50, 60 hours a week, like most entrepreneurs are doing, go to private label because you can get a few products up and running, make a decent income, and really not have to do much work except maintain your listings and keep reordering products. But guys, I just wanted to give you some truthfulness, maybe some tips you guys can use to, you know, um, get better at retail arbitrage. I know it sucks when you're first starting. Um, you might get discouraged, but just keep pushing. And I'm telling you guys, if you don't have a lot of money to start, stick with books. When you want to get approved for these major brands, your selling metrics are important. So with books, you can sell through a lot of product because it's so cheap, you can get a ton of them. And when you're getting approved, you want a lot of reviews um, or seller feedback, and you want to just have a healthy sell-through rate. You want to um, be selling lots of items, do a decent amount of volume. I feel like volume is more important than necessarily the sales number. Um, but yeah, guys, those are just some tips. Um, I know you guys might be having a hard time finding stuff to sell, but just work towards this, guys. I mean, I didn't start being out. These receipts are from the past six seven eight weeks guys so this just shows you how many stores i hit i have t an employee that goes out and hits 10 stores a day too so i guess total we're hitting 100 stores a week um in my area we have about 40 rosses about 12 or 14 marshalls we have all the outlet malls we head down to tucson once a week and source down there um but yeah guys it's what you got to do you got to hustle you got to get your hustle cap on and go out there and make it happen guys it can happen trust me i mean my my retail arbitrage account where's my cell phone literally guys this is a part-time thing for me like just i just do it for fun and i'm gonna try and scale it more next year um my goal for my retail arbitrage account next year is to do at least half a million in sales and profit around 150 to 175,000, which is totally totally doable um, and that's going to be with me outsourcing most of the work because I'm building a team, a sourcing team pretty much, and then also doing my private label, continue to grow that. Also guys, my mom, I know you guys were looking to be updated on that. I'm helping her start her private label business. Um, her two products that she ordered just got shipped, so they should be here within a week or two. Um, and then I'm going to start documenting her journey of getting her products launched and show you guys what's truly possible. So I'm super excited for that. So if you're new to the channel, you're going to want to subscribe and stay tuned for more awesome content. Let me know. What do you guys like to see? I see retail arbitrage videos do pretty well. Um, if you want, I have a buddy. He's offered to you know, go out and follow me around and make some pretty cool vlog style retail arbitrage videos. So if that's something you want to see, um, leave it down in the comments and leave a like. You guys want to see more private label advanced stuff, um, uh, which includes you know more advanced optimization tactics, PPC tactics. Um, just let me know what you guys want to see. I'm here to help you guys out. And just let me know what I can do to help, guys. Um, I'm pretty clueless to what you guys want to see. Um, so just let me know what you guys are having trouble with, and I'll try to base my content around those problems, guys. Also, guys, follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my name in the description. I'm going to start doing, you know, live uh, videos on there. I might do some Facebook lives. I'm not sure if I can do YouTube live yet. I don't know if you have to have a 1,000 subscribers yet. I'll have to check. Um, and also, guys, my camera just broke, so I'm not able to go shoot videos other places. So if any of you guys have any good recommendation, any of you guys are photographers out there or know a good video camera, let me know. Um, my budget's pretty much, I'm not going to spend over 2000 on a camera just because I don't feel like I need to produce that high quality of content. But up to $2,000, let me know if you guys have any good recommendations for a camera. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next video.